Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am uh, a man of uh, little importance and I want to bring to you an idea that is uh, so valuable religiously and so many people are, are, are trying to figure out how the second coming is going to come about. And I'm, I'm just a, an imaginary guy, like I, 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 I'm very fictitious this is just a fancy you know why it is because we cannot prove it there is no concrete evidence for any of this so please take this as just a joke that we're gonna explore that kind of sounds cool though you know and you understand like it's like god are you really coming i think you are but we're only playing games here this is not real so now before now that we've done that i've got some uh concepts to introduce we're gonna figure out how reincarnation works. This is what we're focusing on. And now I'm going to delve into the procedure. Prior to anything, we have to understand underlying uh, concretes. One is that there is a God that he over... Uh, oversees the entirety and he 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 is uh he is like a he's like always directing we have to accept that there's a physical reality humans us our simple sequence of gene codes and i am an individual as well as a human conglomerate. The last one, yes, I have an individual personality, I think for myself. I also am a part of the whole of humanity, like there's a singular human consciousness. Just run with it. If you do, you end up figuring out that you have no free choice. And that your individuality is basically like you're just watching yourself uh, as an actor. Or at basically like as I'm watching TV, I'm watching myself play the role. And hey, just, just let's run with it because it's a fictitious uh, argument. So let's go with that. Now, we have arranged the sequence of events. We are a gene code. Someone's been born. Everything under God is determinable like uh like he can uh, direct it so how hard is it to re-establish a gene code by god if every single a a aspect of uh, of of creation is directed by and us humans being a singular entity uh uh, metaphysically con as a meta conscience and then me just being a singular identity exploring my 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 actions how hard is it how hard is it so let's say uh plato was uh born four thousand years ago and he lived 65 years and he died the guy was like a super genius like he was a genius in not one field but in multiple he revolutionized many of many minds he glorified many minds and he he elevated humanity immensely and this guy was uh, born four thousand years ago so now god sees some value in uh, him serving in the renaissance of 1700s in europe so Boom, assume the sequential code. Mating begin again, again. So if you assume that there's a meta conscious and you're just an individual identity experiencing, you understand you're basically a slave. And I know you think free choice, like I think I'm falling in love. You're programmed just like I'm programmed. We're all machines. I have my basic instincts. I'm drawn to a certain type of girl, regardless of, uh, of, of, of uh, anything like it, i'm just drawn to that type of girl like she has to be this tall like she has to have these color hair she has to have this coat like that's my ideal 
you have your ideal, someone else has their ideal. These are pre, pre, pre-programmed uh, genetic uh, conditions. So don't think you have that much free will as you actually think you do. If you think you're like, oh no, this is fucking wrong. But just, just here, it's still fictitious. Now we've gone that far. What does he do? He starts uh, creating these uh, uh, consequences, uh, cause and effect. Uh, some random guy meets some random girl. Some random guy meets some random girl. Enter 1776. The guy that has the uh, the semen and the girl that has the egg somehow meet at a restaurant and fall in love instantaneously. And they only sleep for one night. They have sex. And the next day, um, or next month, she finds out she's pregnant. The guy's already in probably Britain, like having fun with his other friends. But she turns out to be popping out another Play-Doh because the gene sequence is 92%. Plato, like obviously, you know, generality, like, like the, none of this is concrete perfection. Like God is not almighty oppressor. Although very, very coordinated are we. But so you see just, just the, 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 the possibility of it. I can never imagine a human being who would be a hundred percent replica. Nor can I ever, now this one is irrefutable. Environment is always going to change. A human, so let's say the same gene code, let's say 100% same gene code uh, comes into conception and then through environmental indoctrination, like let's say my parents teach me things and they're in 1990 and that guy was in uh, 4000 BC, like different environment. Different teaching, different parentage, different um, different uh, thoughts. It's never going to be the same person ever again. Reincarnation is just. It's kind of it's kind of a blasphemy. It's kind of a it's kind of like a, the the blasphemous uh, 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 a gift that the church offered you like yeah sure you can be reincarnated but johnny you'll never be johnny again and jesse you'll never be jesse again and michael you're not the same michael that you were like it's just not it and yeah sure the same gene code is possible that's as good as it gets you never get the same person with the same same type of you know i i just can't imagine I just, it, it's, it's unfathomable. It's unfathomable. God bless.